Welcome to What's Cooking. Let's go to my garden to pick some ingredients. Here we go. Welcome. This is my little greenhouse here and I've got some vegetable here. So look what have I got here. I've got kale. So we are going to pick some kale. Yeah, you heard me. Kale can be very boring but we're going to turn it into a beautiful curry with chickpea so let's cut some bunch of kale, we need uh, two tin of uh, chickpeas, we need pepper, we need salt, and this is turmeric. I need one tablespoon of turmeric, and this is garam masala, one tablespoon of that, and then I've got curry powder, and that's two tablespoons, actually three tablespoons, sorry, of um, curry powder so here and I have chili flakes I've got uh, ginger I've got five six handful of uh, garlic one big onion red onions and a few leaves of, uh, of bay leaves so and one tomato this is for my garden to look how juicy this is smell beautiful and all organic and we're going to use that so here I've got hot pan Um, olive oil into our pan we are going to put the onions first and the bay leaves so we're going to leave that to dry for a few minutes while this is cooking I'm going to do my garlic and my ginger Now the garlic is just roughly been crushed. We pour that in the onions and the bay leaves. Wow, it smells beautiful, really beautiful. Oh wow. So we put our chili, the chili flakes. And you can put fresh chili if you want, or you don't have to put chilies. It's it's up to your taste, but we want it a bite because kale is very boring very bland so we want to spice it up a little bit and many people doesn't actually buy kale or cook kale they find it a bit harsh but if you know how to cook it it's so healthy it's just lovely really lovely Now we're going to add our other ingredient, that's turmeric going in, garam masala going in, and uh, curry powder going in. So we need to give it a good stir. And I'm going to add some water as well. Oh, it smells lovely. We'll add a bit more. So we're going to let that simmer a bit. And we could add the salt and the pepper and one ingredient I forgot to mention earlier on is coconut milk it's going to make it creamy and nice and a bit gooey and it's going to make the kale a little bit softer as well so this has been cooking for a good two minutes 
So I'm going to add the coconut milk in there. Give it a good stir. Lovely. And the tomatoes, which have been chopped. So I'm going to let this cook for a, a good two minutes. Let it simmer, let the tomato cook a bit more. And then I'm going to add the chickpeas and the kale. with you um, you know in life many times we get so disappointed and it could be you know a divorce could be a sickness could be somebody betrayed you or you're praying for something and for a breakthrough in your life for a victory and and it hasn't happened it's like you just want a break you just want it to end and it reminds me of the story of, of Elijah in the Bible where the enemies were after him to kill him. He ran, he ran away and he went and sat all by himself under a broom tree. And actually he wanted to end his life. He was really depressed. He had enough. He was saying, I want to die. Have you ever feel like that? That, you know, there is no hope and there is nothing you can do and, and there is no breakthrough, you had enough, you, you're going round and round in a vicious circle. But when Elijah was underneath that broom tree, uh, an angel came onto him and said, Elijah, rise up, wake up and eat. And it's not one time, it's two times. The angel came onto him and said, rise up, get up. Yeah, you can't just be depressed, you can't just sit there, get up. And that really encouraged me. Many times in my life, and I know many of my friends have been going through a lot, a lot of troubles and tribulation. And I believe God is saying, rise up, get up, don't stay where you are. And He is going to get you through. Even you haven't even seen the answers, don't lose hope. Because God is a faithful God. As He was talking to Elijah in, in many years ago, God can talk to us right now saying, you know, do not be discouraged, rise up and get up and seek God daily and be faithful. God will be faithful in your life. Okay, the sauce has been cooking for a good five to seven minutes. So now we're going to put our chickpea. Wow, it smells really lovely. Really, really lovely. And now we're going to put our tail and uh, we're just going to leave it like that so I'm just going to cover it five to seven minutes and that will be done wow, look at this. cooking beautifully we just want the to cook a little bit more oh, a few few seconds it smells absolutely divine you're going to love it try it with your family if you never tried kale before try it it's different and it's healthy and it's you your vegetarian as well this is just perfect really perfect for you made some uh, just plain white rice because the food is lots of ingredient you don't want anything in the rice I've just bought some rice so I'm going to dish back here and it's basmati rice yeah wow look at this delicious you could smell all the curry powder the the, the spices, the herb, the garlic, the onions, absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's dish out. So creamy and the coconut uh, milk is just perfect. Wow, all your family will enjoy this. And I've got the lemon here. I'm just going to squeeze just a tiny bit of lemon here. Dinner in serve. 
in less than half an hour you can um, just cook a lovely menu i hope i inspired you to to do some gardening do your own product and do some seedling and vegetables it's just so um, rewarding just to go in your garden and pick vegetables and bring it to the kitchen yeah let's taste my favorite part is to test the food mm, it's lovely with the lemon too I taste the chili it's quite sharp and you know kale doesn't taste doesn't taste boring anymore it's just so lovely and it's softened with the sauce with the coconut milk it's just really softened and and the chickpea which is lovely and it's just a perfect meal for your perfect family guys if you like what you saw don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button until next time on what's cooking taste and see that the lord is good Caleb, bring the kettle. <laughs> kettle. I could eat this all day. And guys, if you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe. <sighs> it's 